you can open up additional windows to work in different places at the same time. And what I mean by that is that you can open up the same workbook as many times as you want. And in this example, down below I have the states, California, Utah, New York, and Arizona. I want to be able to view them all at the same time. So I'll open up this workbook an additional three times, or a copy of the workbook, and compare it with the original. So I have one workbook that I can see at the same time for California, then Utah, New York, and Arizona. So to do that, you want to come up here and click on the View tab, go to the Window group, and it's right there, New Window. You can see when I hover over it in the pop-up, it says it'll open a second window for your documents so you can work in different places at the same time. And that means a copy, basically, of your workbook. So you can see up here on the tab, I've got the original name of it. When I click on New Window, it opens up and it gives me number two. When I go back to the original, it's now identified as number one. So from here, I can go ahead and click on New Window to open up a third one, as you can see up there. And then let's do it again, View to New Window. So I have a total of four, one for each tab or worksheet. Well, except I don't want to see the totals. I just want these four states here. Next, to be able to see them all at the same time, I want to come back up here and click on the View tab. And of course, you can see them down below. There's the original one, two, and three copies of it. I want to come up here in the Window group and click on Arrange All. And you can see in the pop-up, it'll stack your open windows so you can see all of them at once. Click on it, and you can choose the arrangement style. I think Tile is going to be the best for me, so I'll leave it as is and click OK. All right, I can't see the data, so what I'm going to do here is collapse the ribbon by clicking on those arrows there. I got my screen so it's super magnified, so it hardly fits anything within it, but hey, it's for visual purposes, so you can see exactly what I'm working on. And there we go. Okay, we got California listed four times, so to see them all at the same time, I just need to go to one worksheet and say, okay, over here we'll see Utah. And in this worksheet will be New York, and in that one will be Arizona. Cool. Now I can go ahead and view all these worksheets at the same time and be able to compare and contrast, uh, let's see, quarter four lemon to quarter four for Utah, $300. Okay, California did better. And then to make any changes to it, of course, you can just go ahead and click in here and type in, let's go from 200 to 1, something drastic that we'll notice. And it automatically updates in all the other windows here because it's just basically a mirror image of the original workbook. So if I come over here to California, click on it, and there you go, it's one. And then when I'm done, when I go ahead and close out of all the others, and close out of that one, close out of that one, and I've got the original left. Well, you don't have to go and say, okay, that window was the original. Just when you close out of all of them, when you get down to the last one, that's going to be the original. So if you open up the original and it was in this bottom left-hand corner and you closed out of that one first, that's okay. Just leave one of them open so it can go ahead and get rid of the extra copies of that window, the mirror images, and you're left with the original. And you can see on California, it's one. Cool. Oh, and then to bring the ribbon back up again, let's go ahead and double click on the Home tab, and there we go. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.